Ladies and gentlemen, we've been blessed. Much like this little baby being blessed at a distance thanks to Hasbro's newest water gun. The Sin Super 3000. Our blessing, however, comes in the form of a new Netflix miniseries. One of the best to ever hit the platform. And that series is Midnight Mass. Many are calling this the best show of 2021, and the user reviews on IMDb and Letterboxd are pretty astounding. I finished this show a couple days ago, and I must say this show is special and very unique. It has really lingered in my mind as I've tried to figure out what it is exactly that made the show work so well for me. And I believe I've finally figured that out. As I've looked around the internet and I've watched reviews and read reviews, I've read a lot of the same things talking about the same components of this show that make it good. And I don't disagree, but I don't see a lot of people talking about this one thing, and that's why I wanted to make this video. Now, most reviews of this show have called out the great performances of Hamish Linklater, Kate Siegel, and Samantha Sloyan as well as the many great performances from the rest of this stellar cast. They'll also tell you about the very well done cinematography, with the long single shot scenes and the beautiful overhead shots of Crockett Island where this story takes place. And of course you can't talk about this show without talking about the uniqueness of this story, which is about this isolated island community experiencing many miraculous events after the arrival of a new young priest. I've certainly never experienced a story like this, and the richness of this story was an awesome thing to experience. So as I said earlier, all of these things are critical components to the success of this miniseries. But I'm here to say they weren't really what drew the audience in and kept us engaged in this seven hour binge, which a lot of us did in a single sitting. I believe the number one thing that contributed most to the success of this show was the carefully constructed and wonderfully executed character development. So this show's being called a slow burn horror by quite a few people, and I've even heard some say that a few of the episodes struggle with pace. The thing is though, these slower moments in the show were spent carefully and strategically developing these characters with absolute intentionality. This gave us a better understanding and connection with these characters. And what I think is probably the coolest thing about this is this wasn't done with one main character or two or even three characters. We were able to identify with many characters throughout this series by understanding their personalities and backgrounds and unique characteristics through beautifully thought out and constructed dialogue. There's at least eight characters that we come to know on a pretty deep level, which gives us insight into understanding why they're doing what they're doing, going where they're going, or making the decisions that they're making. And nothing is really shocking at the end of this show in terms of why a character did what they did. And this is something that a lot of filmmakers and show creators fail to do. They fail to help us understand why characters are the way that they are their backgrounds, their experiences, their relationships. This is perfectly done in Midnight Mass through an incredibly well-written script, which artfully crafted the many conversations we see between these characters. Keep in mind, this was all done in a seven episode miniseries. Seven hours! <laughs> All of this development leads us so perfectly to the final act where we see these characters making incredibly challenging decisions in the most terrifying moments of their lives. While a lot of the scenes in the latter part of this series are very disturbing and quite honestly were a little sickening to me, I was so invested in these characters that there was no way I was walking away from this series without getting closure with these characters. And that's really all I can say without beginning to get into spoilers, so I will leave you with this. Watch this series. Watch it for the beautiful cinematography. Watch it for the thrills and the mystery, but most of all, watch it to connect with these characters that are working through and pondering many of the same things we do in our own lives. Again, there's some pretty disturbing content here that may make some of you a little squeamish, but for me, it was worth it to see this masterful work play out. I do agree with some of the earlier sentiments that this may be the best show of 2021, and I was thrilled to get to experience it. Thank you for being here today. We'll catch you in the next one.